Hi guys, thanks for listening. And today we're going to give you another tip, and it's also around about um, tip number seven is human uh, human uh, limits really. And human limits is um, a vast uh, array of subjects, um, but essentially it's you know what the what's the limit of what the human can do. And really, this explains almost most incidents. In fact, I believe genuinely almost every single incident directly or indirectly i.e. it's the driver or it's an engineer somewhere along the line has caused a, an incident um, has caused the incident itself so um, so fortunately we already apply biases to everything that we do and again feel free to have a search of um, cognitive biases on uh, on, on uh, search engines because it's going to come up with lots of different things um, and most of those and almost every single one of them apply to the way we drive or ride or use the road um, one of the difficulties is of course we tend to be slightly optimistic towards not having an incident even though it's it's very common so um, there's lots of them um, I'm not going to have chance to go through all those today but you know we do bias things we do look at things in a slightly different way um, an example of this sometimes is we fail to look in one direction because we believe that's a cul-de-sac or it's an end of a, a car park um, but unfortunately, although uh, most of the time that you'll be able to get away with that, unfortunately, it only takes one time for someone's parked down there and you've not noticed and they come in and we, we don't see them and we have a collision. And that's caused purely by an expectation that, that nothing's going to come from that direction. Really, really common, way more common than you might think. Um, and I catch myself doing it sometimes. So we're all human, ultimately. So that can cause issues. The other part of this, of course, is our personality, our upbringing, our beliefs, our thought processes. And of course, um, personalities uh, are different. You know, are you an introvert or an extrovert? How does that affect your driving? Are you somebody that's uh, hypercritical of yourself or do you not give a monkeys, you know? So all those things in your personality, of course, are going to affect the way in which you drive. Um, really important. Or ride or use the road. Attention, of course, we're really bad at paying attention to things, particularly nowadays. Um, so yeah, it's trying to have that laser focus and real, real, f um, uh, fully engaged with the driving task, which we've touched on already. But specifically, we're talking here about the human limits in in its to totality. And of course, we've got things like drink and drugs that we need to control. Um, and we need to understand that a little bit more. Uh, do you know there's actually a drink driving course, which is fantastic. Um, it's delivered to people who have been involved with uh, either an incident or been caught for drink driving or riding. The, the, the thing is, is, for me, that course needs to be delivered before that situation occurs as much as possible. Um, you know, um, whenever I used to, I don't do provisional license holders at the moment, um, and, and I haven't done for a while, but whenever I did, we always have that discussion about how does drink affect your drive and how are you going to control it? How many units does it take per hour for that to wear off? And how do you count that? Uh, what's the best option in terms of uh, how we manage that? Um, and again, it's the same with drugs, whether that's medication um, uh, or whether it's um, uh, recreational drugs, those are all going to affect the way in which we drive. And again, we need to understand how that's going to affect our driving and of course the consequences of it. And that for me needs to be delivered uh, well before we sort of pass a driving test and maybe um, needs to be uh, repeated at some point throughout our, um, our career careers as drivers. So that's important. And again, fatigue's part of that as well, how we control fatigue. Uh, and I know we've discussed before on, on previous um, uh, suggestions in terms of focus and engagement and attention, and absolutely that's important. But here we're talking about human limits, the limitation of what the human can do. And really, ultimately, that, that's what um, changes um, our, our driving, you know, understanding our limits and making sure we control them as best we can. Anyway, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, please subscribe and uh, feel free to comment below if you've got any further suggestions or comments, you know, anything you want to add to the video um, or anything you agree or disagree with. Um, we're, we're all ears. So um, yeah, uh, thanks very much for listening today and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you.